What is up, guys? It's your boy, COC, and I'm back. Like I said, 2024, 2025, we're going to be uploading on a regular schedule, at least one new video per week. So there you go. Should be on the lookout for a video per week. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that I talked about a little bit in my previous video on revamp passing, why it's the best passing type in college football 25 and why you should you be why you should be using it but um today we're going to talk about some of the nuances of revet passing and more specifically when to throw yellow and red meters so in revet passing there's a blue yellow and red pass when you look at the pass meter you will see the blue yellow and red on basically every single pass, some passes, there's no red. It's just yellow because your quarterback's, uh, quarterback's attributes are really, really good. So you'll only be able to throw a yellow pass. But usually you see some red when it comes to deep 20 plus yard passes, um, 20, 30 plus yard passes. You'll be able to see a red meter now. What the meter is, is it timing? It's nothing like that. It's to do power. So revamp passing is a little bit different than placement and accuracy. If you haven't watched my last video, I talk all about revamp passing, why it's better than placement and accuracy. But the biggest difference from revamp passing, other than the arc of the ball, is how much power you can put on the ball with the meter. The meter is used for power. So blue pass, if you full bar a blue, it's going to be accurate and it's going to be a bullet. If you half bar it, it's going to be more of a touch. You just tap the button. It's going to be like a lob. And if you full bar yellow, it means it could be slightly inaccurate. And if you full ball red, that means it's going to be inaccurate, but it's going to be a bullet. Now that's what EA told you. If you don't know by now, EA likes to lie yellow and red passes do not always mean they're going to be uncatchable they're going to be inaccurate they're going to be whatever as a matter of fact there are plenty of times and situations that i'm going to show you through various clips right here on why you want in certain situations and circumstances why you actually want to throw a red pass instead of a blue pass so we're going to break this down a little bit further put this in slow motion for you guys so you see, I hike the ball. I read the coverage. This is actually cover six. It looks like it's cover three, but if I can get my guy out the way a little bit, pause the video, you can see we got a couple hook zones here. We got one, two, three hook zones. We got a flat being played by this corner over here. Deep blue, deep blue, deep blue. And we have another flat zone right here because he's not getting vertical with this receiver. So you recognize cover six, you have about, I would say a good 10 yard window to complete this pass. Really it's about five. And with the revamp passing, you want to throw a red meter here. And the reason why you wanna throw a red meter is because it's going to allow you to fit this ball into that tight window. So right here, I recognize this, Boom, fully maxed out. You can see I fully maxed out and you fully saw what I was talking about with the blue, yellow, and the red. Red meter, it's going to be a bullet. And I just lead him down a little bit with the left stick. I talked all about that in my previous video. Comes down, goes really low, and catches the ball. Only my receiver is going to make that catch. The DB can't play, make any play on it first and goal now obviously there are times where you want to throw a blue meter where you know you want to be more accurate and obviously you know there's definitely certain circumstances and situations where you need to be more accurate however a yellow and a red meter you're going to get similar accuracy depending on your quarterback's attributes of course but it's going to be more lower outside you know outside catch radius a little bit maybe the receiver needs to make an adjustment you, you can still catch the ball red meters and yellow meters get caught all the time in every league i play road to the college football playoff that game mode i catch yellow and red meters it's fairly easy 
All right, now we're gonna kind of speed up a little bit since I talked about it in the first clip, really got it out of the way. So now you understand at least one circumstance. This is another situation. We're gonna be hitting this A route. So obviously I'm not gonna read the defense here. You know, you kind of see what's going on here. We got a middle zone and then we got a deep blue. I try to fit it right in between the linebacker and the safety here. So I put enough arc on the ball. I'm holding LT here just a little bit. So um, or I'm, I'm holding LT here and I'm leading him down just a little bit. It still provides me with a bullet pass because the meter is fully maxed out. So it still provides me with a bullet pass, but it provides me with enough arc and whatnot so I can get it over the linebacker's head. Linebacker has no chance of making this play. And since it is a bullet pass and it's low, the safety has no chance of making the play either. My receiver makes an adjustment, sits down on the ball, secure catch, first down. The first two clips wasn't evidence enough. We got another one for you. So right here, we're just calling four verts. We recognize the linebacker blitz. Now, obviously, this is a lot of green grass. You can easily throw a blue meter here and be absolutely fine, right? Well, I don't know. I'm not the one making this fucking video, dickhead. Well, not so much. You could throw a blue meter here, but this X button's covering up this receiver. I mean, covering up the DB, which you're going to see is playing a weird type of coverage. These guys are rolling to the left. So it's like a cover, it's a cover two blitz. So the safety is rolling. And it, as you see, it, excuse me, it's a cover three blitz, excuse me. But um, as you see, the DB actually rolls towards that middle so if you are not careful you throw a blue meter that's who will get picked off you need to throw a red you throw a red it completely undercuts that safety he has no chance of making a play he can make the tackle for sure but i still caught the ball i still got a first down well this next clip is going to be a little bit of a change of pace showed you a couple of clips where you want to throw a red meter now i'm going to show you when you want to throw a blue meter so right here we're looking at this corner route I'm recognizing the coverage. It looks like cover zero. Looks like it's gonna be a blitz of some sort. I know RB is gonna be wide open all day, barbecue chicken. So I wanna get this ball to him. I wanna get it out there and I don't necessarily wanna mess this up. Throwing a red meter is gonna throw this ball wildly behind them. Maybe the linebacker has a chance to make the play, swat, whatever. It's gonna be low. So he's gonna have to turn around and catch the ball and it's going to have to be a secure catch. He's not going to go anywhere else. Not going to get any yards after the cat. So it will still be a first down, but you want the touchdown. So you want to throw a good enough power blue meter, which is exactly what I did right there. And I was able to just dive in the end zone and put up six points. So that's when you want to throw a blue meter when your guy is pretty much wide open. You need it to be accurate. You need to be on time. You don't need any foolishness. You don't need to fit it in some tight window. A blue meter is going to be your best friend. Like I said, change the pace. We're going to show you when to use a blue meter. Now, this is a certain situation right here where you could go blue, yellow, or red, but a full power blue with just enough lead can also result in the same thing. So right here, as it's for a birch play, we're going to try to hit this tight end over the middle right here. And you see, I throw a max power blue. So this is going to be accurate. But however, you do see the way it catches. Now revamp passing, like I said in my last video, comes in with a pre-built pass lead on every single route. So whether you're running a post, corner, slant, whatever, it comes with a pre-built in lead that you need to take account for. So right there, I didn't take account for it. I wasn't able to really lead my tight end back where I wanted. So he's still caught the ball and it was still a good pass it was accurate but he's falling down into the safety where you know if that's on a fourth down i need to convert falling into the safety that might be a drop pass knee might jar it out the safety might be able to make a play on the ball so that's where another situation you can get away with a blue meter but the red meter would have been even better to complete that pass so we talked about blues we talked about reds let's talk about a yellow meter so a yellow meter like i said is in between the blue and red it doesn't have the same accuracy penalty that the red has even though it's not really an accuracy penalty it's just the placement of the ball 
blue is usually going to be up here where the hands are yellow is probably going to be more middle for thick and stomach lower groin and then obviously a red is going to be like towards the feet um so a yellow meter right here as you're going to see in this clip um we do a pretty good job of leading our receiver to where only he can make the catch and we throw a yellow meter because we want max power but we still want it to be so that he doesn't have to go all the way down to catch this full bar yellow meter ball gets to him and as you can see all he does is make a little bit of an adjustment catches it around the stomach area double coverage as well um just make sure you possess and catch that thing and you're going to get a first down. Some doubters. There's going to be some people. Well, oh, don't throw red meters. Oh, he's lying. They're going to be inaccurate. They're going to be dropped. There's a less likely catch rate. Well, I already showed you the clips of the red, but here's a couple more where I can easily disprove your logic. Just because you throw a red meter doesn't mean the pass uncatchable. As you see right here, tight end catch it. You see the safety's ability pop up. He gets tackled like five times branching animations or whatnot does it matter still able to complete it still able to get the first down right here's another perfect example of when you want to throw a red meter so once again tied in on that crosser route for four verts throw in a red meter linebacker goes away and you see how he uses his body he turns his body around and actually uses it almost like a shield here if i could do this correctly he's shielding the ball with his body so that the safety the most the safety can do is hit him from the back i have been summoned summoned to a place unknown take that take a disturbance in the diddy force I no diddy but that's the most the safety can do he's not going to be able to make a play on the ball only thing he can do is make a play on the receiver which is another reason why with red passes, you get these low balls that, you know, your guys have to contort and make an amazing catch sometimes. But most of the time, you're going to get just a nice, regular low pass. And your receiver's going to turn around. He's going to catch that ball. It's going to be a first down just about every single time. There are times where they can drop it. But for most of the time, in my research, my experience playing the game, they catch them up. <laughs> And right here is going to be the last clip I have to show you guys. Thank you for sticking away all the way to the end of the video. But another example of when you want to throw a red pass. So here we got this corner route again. And as you can see, I have a pretty tight window here. I got about another 5, 10 yard window that could easily be closed. If I throw a blue meter, this corner, he's playing zone. He could easily drop back, come up with a swap, pick it off. Or if I throw a blue meter and try to lead him more, the safety might be able to come over, jar the ball loose, swat it, put make a play. We don't want that. We want it so that only my receiver can make a play on the ball. Throwing a red meter, it's going to be a little bit low like that, as you see. But even with the catch and run, this isn't the greatest receiving core ever. Able to make the catch, fighting through contact. It's going to be a catch. Like I said, it's going to be a first down. So revamp passing is honestly amazing. And knowing the context of your passes is a huge advantage in college football 25. You want to know the context of your passes. You want to throw blue, yellow, and red. And by watching this video, you're going to understand that more. Obviously, get in that gym, practice a little bit more, see exactly when you need to throw those passes, do a little bit of testing on your own. And you're going to be flying through this thing. I mean, like, it's it's honestly, it has a learning curve. But once you learn it, this is the best passing type in any football video game we have ever had. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Until next time, you already know who it is. It's your boy, CFC. Peace. Peace.